<laughs> yeah, you didn't see the pre-blab where Sophia had internet issues and couldn't even get on. So it, well, it's technology, eh? Gotta love it. Gotta, gotta love it. But welcome everybody. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we can officially start now. So let's dig in. Um, most of you seem familiar with Blab. So um, if you have chats, comments, you can put them in the chat box and questions. We can answer your questions. Um, be sure and stay to the end as we're both going to be sharing some special bonuses for you. But I say we dig right in and pass to Sophia first for the mindset of a webinar, which maybe you should add number one is don't freak out when it doesn't work. <laughs> exactly, exactly. And some of the things that I'm going to talk about, um, we, you know, it already happened. And the first one that I have, it's accountability, <laughs> accountability. Have um, somebody supporting you on your webinars? Have um, you know um, beca because like this happen, and uh, and if you don't have the support and the collaborations, um, so have somebody like an accountability partner or somebody they will work with or um, a VA, um, somebody that can help you um, with your Google Hangouts if you're doing a live um, webinar. Or um, if you are recorded, um, ask the VA or the your admin to actually do the recording for you. Because when you got other things to think about on the webinar, um, the um, the other person doing the recording is so much quicker. You're going to save so much more time. So. Uh, yeah, <laughs> maybe, maybe in this case, you need a third person because we had two of us and still couldn't do it. So. Yeah. So, well, the more the merrier. If you, you know, if you can afford to have more than one, that will be even even better. There's always technical issues, especially with Google Hangouts as well. Um, it's quite common ever so often. If you're not wired into your router, that sometimes cr can create some technical problems and for some people uh doing a uh, live google hangouts it's quite stressful uh because there's like lots of things going on so that's why i say that it's always good to have somebody to give you um, a helping hand um another point that i would like to um talk about is nothing is perfect okay nothing is perfect <laughs> <laughs> and even though you think okay um oh Daphne saying what <laughs> was that what to nothing is perfect Daphne so yeah I mean last year I found out that perfection is overrated and um you can plan 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 and do it better and improve but you're not moving anywhere okay so i can just say like there's always something that you're gonna think it's not perfect it's not right and it's gonna stop you from moving forward so i mean i my message is just like get it out there people want to see what you have to give. People want to um, trust you and see you, and you know, even with bad hair. <laughs> so, um, you know, more ha more action, I suppose, is, is the message here. Just, you know, just put it out there because if you're not out there, you're not visible uh, to your audience uh, and therefore you can't sell your services. You know, you can't sell your products. Um, Good point. Yeah. So um, the other one is like fear, fear of appearing in front of a camera. OK, you get all these excuses like, oh, my hair. Oh, I've got my grays coming out. Oh, I don't feel I, I haven't got no makeup. You know um, what? What is people going to think about me? She's crazy. She's completely nuts. Um, so. You know, just uh, 
I normally like just take a deep breath. <laughs> not today, of course not, because <laughs> because my my computer crashed just before this blab, and I had to restart my router. Um, so it was all pants, like we say in UK. It was all pants. Um, but you know, like. Breathe in, breathe out, and just go with the flow, and you, you're perfect because people want, you know, they they, they want to see you, they want to know you, um, and it doesn't really matter how you look or how you know. There's no makeup, or you know, you've got a dimple or whatever, you know. It's just it's you they want to to um, to. Um, trust you and to know you better basically you know so the um, main point i just wanted to interject is i think a lot of the times the webinars that we're watching are recorded webinars people don't know that so they think people are that perfect but they've recorded it and they've made it perfect because they've done it you know several times and recorded it and we think it's live so it's good to know that we're all human and it's usually not perfect unless you are recording and start over from scratch each time. Yeah. And even on the recorded ones, you know, even on the recorded ones, um, I've seen a lot of like uh, recorded webinars with presentations. I actually like to see the face of the person, you know, so maybe having a mixture. I don't know what you think about this, but having like a mixture of you presenting it or you introducing yourself so people can really relate to you you know they can see you they they feel that there's somebody on the other side you see what i mean so i don't know you yeah, know daphne, daphne agrees who else agrees that's that's a really good point yeah i think we all like to see that everybody's human we're all going to make mistakes and not be perfect <laughs> Daphne's got, of course, we are perfect. Um, <laughs> In so many ways. <laughs> so it's just to give you an example, like last year I, I started my um, free video series for my um, coaching program. And, oh, my God, it took me so long to do that video series um, because it was like um, something was not quite right or you know, I didn't say the right stuff or my hair was out of place. And you are your own, you know, your own worst critic, aren't you? So um, I just had to, like, shake myself off and think, I don't really care. I just really need to get this um, this video series out. And it happened, you know. It went out and... It wasn't perfect. I did all the editing in Camtasia and stuff like that myself. It's not professional looking, but it was out there. And that's what's more important is that you need to put it out there. You need to be visible so people can start knowing you, can start trusting you, you know, and uh, and come over and see um, what you have to give, really. Um. No, I don't know if anybody wants to. <laughs> can you can you hear me? Still okay, Angela? Yes, perfect. So the other um, point that I was going, my fourth point for today, and then I'll shut up and I want to, <laughs> um, is um, have a script or at least some sort of uh, some bullet bullet, uh, bullet points so that you don't, you know, you don't go off track. So you don't lose the um, motion that, you know, that you are talking about. Um, and like, for example, we have an agenda, haven't we? So <laughs> and when you get flustered and there's technical issues, it really helps you go back to that agenda because you're like, wait, where was I? So, yes. Yeah. yeah. So, it, you know, if you have a meeting with somebody, you're going to have an agenda. You know, in, in, you have to know which points you're going to talk about. If um, when I have my stretchy calls, for example, I send them uh, a questionnaire and I know exactly what are the questions I'm going to ask them when we're live, you know, on a one-to-one. -one. 
So there's always, um, you know, you always need to have like a script. Um, and that, I, I think that really helps. Um, if anybody wants to um, give any other suggestions. Um, so, Angela, I'm going to pass it on to you, I think, because we're going to talk about some options, I suppose, and then I can go back in. <laughs> Perfect. And, but, you know, we didn't really introduce ourselves in the beginning. Do you want to put the links oh, no. right there? We got a little flustered by the whole technology thing. So if you want to take a minute and introduce yourself and then I'll, I'll go, that would be great. Yeah. So I'm um, Sophia Pacific Reis. I'm from, um, I live in the UK, but I'm from Portugal. And I'm a social media strategist and trainer. And you can find me on um, increaseyoursocialreach.com. I'll put the link on, um, on the chat box in a minute for all of you. And um, I work mainly with uh, female coach entrepreneurs. And um, I love working with them. They're action takers. They're driven. Uh, and uh, I do... Um, audio or audits um i do um strategy reports management training so a bit of everything so that's me <laughs> great all right well my name is angela andrews and my website is loveasimplelife.com i'm gonna put the link in here um, I am, <laughs> which is really ironic today. I'm all about simple living and today was not really simple getting into this black. <laughs> so <laughs> it doesn't really go with my, um, thing, but go with the flow. Right. So, um, I also help women entrepreneurs. I love helping them simplify their lives, their businesses, um, anything they can do to save time so that you can do the things that you really love to do. My nature or my background, I was 20 years as an accountant, so I'm a recovering perfectionist and enjoy the simple living much better than accounting and perfectionism. So um, I have products and services to, to help with that. I have a simple website kit and a um, simplicity coaching program. So uh, I just love helping people simplify things. So, and um, that's me. So <laughs> um, we're going we're going on to um options. Um we've got a few <laughs> options for webinars to keep it simple, just you know, keep it easy and yeah. simple. Well, what I was gonna talk about is some ways to monetize your webinars and to make some money. So because online learning, as most of you probably know, is a huge market right now. I mean, billions of dollars. It's amazing. People are craving online learning. I mean, no one wants to go into a school anymore and learn. They want to do it in the convenience of their home, do it when they want. So it's a huge opportunity to make money on webinars. So one of the ways that you can do it is to record a webinar using one of the many products out there that we're going to talk about a few Um but using those products to record your webinar and then sell it. You can sell it on your website as a, a, a just the webinar itself, just one webinar. You can um, also sell it on Vimeo if you want, if you have an account on Vimeo. And that's one way to monetize your webinars. The second way is to take a bundle of webinars. Maybe you want to do a series of webinars and, you know, for example, I do websites as part of mine. So I could do a series of learning WordPress, um, you know, setting up plugins on WordPress and various, and then bundle them and do a series um, program on your website and sell those as a kit. So that's one way to monetize your webinars. A third way is to actually get a lot more webinars and create a membership site. And those are very popular nowadays, membership site. Um, I know myself and Sophia both have membership sites and I recommend MemberPress. It's an amazing, uh, amazingly simple membership program for WordPress websites. There's a lot of complicated ones out there, but a membership site, once you set it up, it's very little work to maintain. 
you put your videos in, you put some checklists and once you get people to sign up, you keep adding new content and it's a great way to make some, you know, quote, passive income. So that's another way to um, monetize your webinars. The fourth way is to do free webinars that offer like a discovery phone call. So for example, you know, at the end of this call, Sophie and I could offer discovery calls and try to get clients that way. That's another way to do monetize your webinars. If you have a webinar and you've got 10 people on it and one person calls and that turns into a client, hey, it was worth it. And you've got a recorded webinar that you can use for marketing purposes. So that's the fourth way. Um, and the fifth way is just to try and get people to follow you or to sign up for your email lists. And then you can eventually market to them. So people are wanting to see videos now, not so much written anymore. I think people are going away from wanting to read these long blog posts. They want to see a quick video, see the person like Sophia was saying, connect with them, see a face, know they're human and um, you can build your email list that way. So that's a few tips on monetizing webinars. So then we wanted to talk about a few of the different tools that you can use to do webinars, which there's so many out there and it can get really overwhelming. So Sophia was gonna talk about two, um, Zoom and 22 Social, and then I'll talk about a couple. So, so, yeah. Oh, my voice. My voice. There's, there's a feedback. Can you hear me? It sounds great. Okay. Um, so, so I'm going to talk about Zoom. I found out about Zoom through Network Live Virtually. And um, it's, it's amazing because you can have up to 25 people um, with a free version, you can have up to 25 people in the room. You can share your screen or you can share um, somebody else's screen. So you can um, um, give control to another person to share the screen. Um, you can record it. And um, it's a very, it's very cheap option really i think it's about um nine dollars um per month uh, which is almost nothing and uh with that you can get so much more other controls with it as well so i love zoom that's what all the presentations that i do i record like for example my leap calls I record my leap calls, of course, with authorization from the other person. So I can, um, you know, go back to it, listen to the call, uh, listen to what was said, what um, the prospect needs, for example. So it's not just for webinars. It can be for anything. And then I, uh, you know, I can actually uh, pinpoint on email to them what, what they need from me. Um, so I use it all the time in leap calls. Uh, presentations, online presentations that can be recorded. Um, I use it also um, for recording my course, for example, my social media starter kit course. Um, so Zoom, Zoom is really, really good. Um, and for the price tag, it's it's an amazing option. And so well, I'm going to say from uh, the, my side of doing Zoom with you, because I hadn't used Zoom until you and I started connecting, it's so easy. You send me a link and I click on it and I'm instantly in your meeting. So very user friendly. So, yeah, I've got a link here as well. I can put on, I don't know if uh, anybody else um, online has used Zoom before. Uh, I'm just going, just going through the messages to see if, um, so even, even if you just get um, the link uh, for Zoom and just try it out, you know, I, I refer Zoom all the time and you get it, you know, sign up for free, try it out and, um, and see how it works for yourselves. You know, you, you have to test these things, really. No, I can't find the link for, <laughs> no, I can't find the link. For, oh, wait a minute, I got it. 
I had a second. Um, I can't multitask. <laughs> Actually, I've got it. I can put it in here for you. Oh, yeah, you got, got it. it. Yeah. It's there, I think. I can pin it as well. It is this there. is amazing that we can pin the little... <laughs> We can pin the little um, links as well in here. So it's quite good. Um, I was going to say, so yeah, so I, you know, like with every single tool, just try it out, test it out. There's trial periods anyway, try it out and then see how it goes really. Great. Um, and the other one, that I was going to talk about is a 22 social. I've um, been referred to 20. Can I ask before you start? I'm curious how many people that are on the call has are, have any of you heard of 22 social? Because I hadn't heard of it before and it's actually really cool. I'm curious if anybody's heard. Daphne has, Raven, Charlotte. Yeah, I'm surprised actually. More people have heard about it than I thought. So great. <laughs> So um, I heard uh, from 20 Social from a connection um, colleague, basically, and um, she referred me to 20 Social, and I needed an easy, quick app on Facebook to create um, a webinar for my client, okay? So I've used, um, I've, I've used 22 Social, on uh, a webinar recently, and it worked perfectly. We had uh, three webinars, three different dates webinars. So, well, two were live webinars, and the third one is like an evergreen webinar. So it was recorded and put into, um, it's like immediately access to it sort of thing. And I can also put a link to to that webinar, actually, is still uh, live, so you can see what I'm talking about, I suppose. Just and if you're a coach, that's a great webinar. I've watched that one, so that's a really good webinar if you're a coach. <laughs> so um, the link, the link is there, and basically, is you go in and you register. You register um, through Facebook. I know some people don't like to register through Facebook, and I've heard a lot of people saying, oh, you know, when, when Facebook is asking me to, you know, click on a button and say, um, you know, I need your email address from Facebook, I don't do it. But I don't understand why, because, you know, giving your email address in any other form is the same thing, you know, and this is like two clicks, basically. So once you click... Once you click on that uh, link, you know, that free webinar, um, you have immediate access to that webinar because that webinar has been recorded and now is going to be going, I think, until this Friday, until we close it because the program starts next week anyway. So, um, yeah, I mean, 20 social, um, you can do so much for 20 social. You can do like giveaways. So if you have like a freebie, um, you can create an app. So um, the account, the account I've got, for example, is for I can I can have it for three uh, Facebook pages. Okay, so um, I can have um, for for myself and two more clients, sort of thing. And inside each Facebook page, I can create fifteen apps. Fifteen apps could be anything from giveaways, um, contests, um, live Google Hangout webinars, um, recorded um, training. Also, they you can do like a whole course just through this app. You know, you can run all, the, the whole course through the app and the app also creates like a group on Facebook that you can have all the members of the people that it paid for your course because they have a pay gate. Is that how you say it? Uh -huh. <laughs> it's pretty um, simple. <laughs> so you can you can link it to PayPal and actually ask people to pay for your course before you know before they enter the, the Facebook group. 
Um, so, you know, the link is the link is there for it. You can have a look at it. They've got loads and loads of tutorials for it. I, I'm I'm quite happy with it. Um, for the price bracket uh, that it has, it's it you know it's it does quite a lot. And, um, and uh, Daphne is asking how much Twenty Two Social did have a special for two hundred and twenty two dollars. Yeah, and that's when I got it. Have since raised that a little bit, and that's a year, and that was a phenomenal price. But I think now it's a little so, higher. Um, so basically. Maybe we can get you in contact with what's the name of the lady? Maybe we can tweet her or something. <laughs> come in, come in the house. Um, I'll send you the contact, Daphne, for the lady that um, referred us to Twenty Two Social. But I've got a little thing here with me today. <laughs> I've just printed it out, and basically, uh, for one fan page, so. Um, don't forget, you can have 15 apps installed on one fan page. It's $29 per month. So the three fan page that I talked about before, um, and each can have 15 apps, is $79 per month, okay? But we got it on a special deal. So they they do special deals all the time. Um so, oh, maybe you can tweet. Can you tweet this? This? Can you share this, Angela, and tweet? Um, tweet twenty two social to come in. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, and the other one is for five fan pages. I mean, you know, if you have quite a few clients uh, with you, um, that might you can offset this price one hundred forty nine dollars per month, but you can probably offset this price and use one of those fan pages to your client cool so um do you have any does anybody any, have any questions or <laughs> i'm just looking through the uh, messages those messages this is quite it's like multitasking on steroids isn't it it's like well <laughs> You gotta speak and you gotta see the messages. <laughs> it's like what? <laughs> so I don't know if anybody that is present has had a webinar recently or is planning to have a webinar recently that wants to come in. Are you okay with that, Angela? Yeah, and, and I could talk about the other two options we were gonna talk about first. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Um, so there's so many options out there, but the two I was going to talk about is join me. So I'm not sure if any of you have heard of that. Um, it's a very easy to use program. Um, there is a free version, but you can't record on the free version. It's a great one for client meetings. The, um, free version, you can have up to 10 people and the pro version, which is $20 a month. You can have up to 50 participants. And the thing I really liked about Join Me is it's just really easy to use. Um, and I must admit, I'm usually a technical, I'm a techie person, except for today with this blab. <laughs> but Join Me is really easy to use. Um, I use it for one of my clients who's very technology challenged, and she can figure it out quite easily. And it's easy to record. You get your recording easily. You can send people a link to the recording or download it, either one. So that's an option. Now, another really inexpensive option is Webinar Alley. And I'm going to put the link to that. And that is by, some of you may have heard of Natalie Lucier. Um, she has some phenomenal products. And one of which is, um, I don't hear the breaking up, by the way. I'm not sure if that's still going on. But... Um, but Natalie has a product called Webinar Alley, and it is only $27. That's US dollars. And what it is, is the plugin that you put on your WordPress website. And you basically create a page on your website. You hit a button saying that this page is going to be your webinar page. And you send that link to that page to the people you want to view your webinar. And when you're ready to view your webinar, you're using Google Hangouts. 
So the pluses to this webinar alley is that it's very inexpensive. I mean, $27 can't go wrong. Um, easy setup. Natalie has videos that walk you through it step by step. So it's really easy to get set up and her support is amazing. But the downside is, as Sophia was saying earlier, Google Hangouts can make people a little nervous. Um, although with Blab and Google Hangouts, I'm kind of thinking Google, Google Hangouts is easier than Blab today, but um, you know, it's just a matter of getting used to it and with practice. But you, you're using a Google Hangout, so you can record it, and you can offer that recording for the people who missed the webinar. Now, the other downside is it's not as fancy as some of the other programs, such as GoToWebinar, um, EasyWebinar, Webinar Jam. All of those offer um, email sequences. So, for example, they send an email out to people a week before the webinar, a day before the webinar, an hour before the webinar. And with a product like Webinar Alley, you're going to have to do that yourself. So you kind of have to weigh, if you're just getting started, you know, maybe you don't want to pay for Webinar Jam. I've personally used a lot of those. I've used Webinar Jam, GoToWebinar, and Easy Webinar. So if you've got any questions on those, I'd be glad to, to answer those. Um, but let's see what you guys are, you know, what are you considering for webinars? If you want to put it in the chat and we can talk about. Daphne uses Webinar Ignition. I haven't heard of that one. Do you like that, Daphne? There's so many options out there. It can be a little overwhelming and you kind of just- It's a WordPress plugin. And it's a one-time cost. Do you know what the cost is, Daphne? Webinar Ignition. Daphne, do you want to come on for a moment and tell us about your uh, what you like and don't like about it? I don't think Daphne was coming. <laughs> oh, <laughs> she is. She's watching <laughs> Dave. She's coming in. Uh, wow. <laughs> woo woo. Yes. Get some hands um, up in the air. I, I like webinar ignition because all the times, you know, everyone was talking about like webinar jam or easy webinar or whatever. And all of those are like annual fees. You know, this is just the one time fee. I think, I think it's like $250. When I bought it, it was almost two years ago and it still works fine. It literally is just a plugin. Um, <clears throat> and thank you, Gail. Um, it's literally just a plugin that goes on the back end of your WordPress site. It does work with Google Hangouts, but what I like about it is that it has to work with Google Hangouts the first time so that you could record it, but you can do pre-recorded ones. So you could record a webinar, upload it onto video, and then put it directly on Webinar Ignition. So you can have... What? Great. A what? Does it have a chat feature? Um, it a does, chat, but I am, they give, chat. I use, um, what is it? Chat wing, chat roll or whatever. Um, chat wing. Yeah. That's, that's a but, webinar I mean, alley it has well. a registration page. Yeah. So I do, I use that and there is a way to integrate it with your email, but it was driving me crazy. So I do a simple Zapier. Like I had the person there as soon as they register, it zaps yeah. to my email provider, and then the automation happens that way. There is a way to do it on Webinar Ignition, but I started to do what we all do as techies, techie geeks, started to get so deep into it, and you're like, holy crap, I, did I just lose like a whole three hours of my day trying to learn this? So I don't do that, but um, as far oh, yeah. as that goes, for me, it was one of the best um, financial options instead of like trying to do something. I mean, and like I said, I don't think I paid 250 when I got it, but I think it's like 250, but you never pay for it again. Um, you've actually talked me into checking that one out because I love to check out a bargain and a one <laughs> huge thing. That's but so webinar, like it, that sounds very much like Webinar Alley, right? And Webinar no, Alley webinar is, is 27 But what I like, 
the difference between Webinar Alley and Webinar Ignition is Webinar Ignition comes with all the other stuff. So it comes with the registration page. So you don't need to have like a lead page or something for that. Um, it has the email if you want to use their email portion. It has text messages. But the text messages you have to pay for, like every every system that I found, the text messages is like another like outsource thing or whatever. But there are so many other components. Like I said, mm. for me, the big plus for me was the fact that I was able to create a webinar, upload it onto either Wistia or Vimeo, and then have it housed directly on my thing. Oops, sorry. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, I'm just what, getting a link for the webinar ignition, actually, so that we can have a look later. Mm. It's actually $97 for a single site right now. What? Dollars. Wow. Which one? Yeah. The webinar ignition. I just watched $97 for a single site. Damn, damn. <laughs> you should complain and get the money back. Oh, hang on top of it, like, you could do, like, your affiliate so you have like on the bottom you have the affiliate link i mean it's just to me it was just really cool because i like the fact that i could create something and just have it stand alone and then it goes directly on your website so you don't have to have a separate link or download thing because we're all we're all teaching people tech they don't want to understand the whole concept of like okay this thing downloaded what button do i click <laughs> So, well, benefits. I think it's Gail, right? Gail, am I the Raven Gail? Raven, yeah, look Raven. at the benefits. You just posted those. Yeah. That's that's a pretty good deal. I'm I'm it, I'm gonna check that I one out. If you're that, an affiliate, exactly, you may yeah. want to send me your affiliate link, please. <laughs> and oh my God! You, 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 know, you had me on this call looking like this, <laughs> Sophia. <laughs> you look gorgeous. Yes, but if it wasn't for you, we may not have had this lab. <laughs> Listen, yeah, if it wasn't for you, we wouldn't be here. And I, besides, I mindset, mindset. I did perfect. say that, didn't we're I? Perfect. I did start out with we are all perfect. <laughs> so, um, so I use webinar. The that other so one, I don't know if you guys have used it. And I don't know if I would consider it like a webinar conference type thing, but Uber conference. Have you guys tried that? I looked into that it's, one, but I didn't. It didn't try it. I it's heard free. of it. I never tried it. <laughs> well, cer for a certain amount oh, of really? people, so I like it for clients. So, for example, you know, the other day I was, I had at the end of last month, I had a, um, I did my monthly call with one of my clients, right? And what's cool is you could, you could, vi you could record it, and like I was able to share my screen. So I think it's a lot like what you had mentioned, Angela, which is, um, what was the name of the one you had mentioned? Yeah, join me. Yeah. Join me and it so sounds it's very similar, similar to join me, but like people could call in or they could use the internet. It's, it's cool. I mean, I haven't used it for more than that, but it's kind of cool. And then the one that Sophia, you and I tried, appear, appear.im. Oh, yes, completely forgot about that one. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because we used it a couple of times and then, but then I yeah. just start using Zoom anyway. Um, so, yeah, I definitely. Am. Appear. In? Appear dot like in, is there? I-N. Mm -hmm. One thing I want to bring up at this point is this is what can make people oh, stand yeah. still and not move forward on webinars is there's so many options. So my suggestion to everybody is pick one. You can't really go wrong. Just pick one. Try it out. Even the ones that are $300 have a 30-day money-back guarantee because I've done those and gotten my money back very easily. So just pick one and try it because it's the only way you're really going to know because you can stay frozen in fear about picking a, a program. So just try one, get it going. If you don't like it, try the and next one. And I think one. also so like to stay within our philosophy. budget because I'll be honest, there are some of them that are like, they have a whole lot of bells and whistles 
and they're a whole lot of money, but we're never going to use any of all those bells and whistles. Like the bells and whistles are great. Honest, I'm not going to use it. I download right. the video, upload it onto Vimeo. What more do I need? Like, I don't need it. <laughs> it was good. <laughs> That's why, that's why I like uh, the 22 social, really, because even though it's got all the bells and whistles, you have like a, 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 the app gate where you attract and you attract the email addresses, right? And then they register for the webinar and then afterwards you get, um, you know, straight the main content. So um, you'll have reminders because you can do like a, a Facebook event, um, See, so you, you can create a Facebook event with a 22 social smart link, and then you have reminders for those people that are coming in. So, it, I, yeah, I like it. It was it was kind of simple to set up, wasn't it, Angela? As well. Yes, very simple. I'm, uh, yeah, I tend to, I, I I do websites, so I tend to want more control than 22 social will allow me. But most people don't want that, so it's perfect because it, it literally walks you through it step by step. So it's very, very simple to set up something on 22 Social, definitely. definitely. Oh, Raven Gal, Raven Gal, I don't know what, what is that your name? <laughs> Says that word of warning you can That's only not record it's all hours. Chat. She just posted but it. We... And it looks really, really cool. Oh, you know okay. How, um, we want to put it like if ever we're doing an interview, for example, we have, you know, side, you can do side, side recording. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, that's a really I'm cool one. It. Great banter chat. Well, does anyone else want to share their experience with a different guys. program that we haven't mentioned? Thank you so much, Daphne. Um, did you did you speak about everything? And I think you've got something special for us, haven't you, Angela? Yes. Um, I would like to offer everybody on the call a free uh, simplicity coaching clarity call. And I'm going to put the link in here. You can check out my website at loveasimplelife.com. Um, if any, and it, especially since we had so many issues today with the blab, um, I am also would love to give a discount if anyone is looking for a website. I have a simple website kit program. And so you can contact me and I would be glad to give you a discount off of that. Um, Cause you guys have all been so patient in our <laughs> feature. And um, Sophia, did you want some links? There? It, it worked out in the end, didn't it? So um, yeah, so I mean, Today, I just want to ask, I'm inviting you um, to my Facebook group because I'm starting a social media content challenge on the 16th of May. It's only a little challenge. It's seven days. But at the end of it, you're going to have a bucket load of content to schedule for 30 days. So if you want to save time, um, content to do um come over to my group up there i am so signing up for that save time on <laughs> i love it <laughs> yeah and i want i want action takers i don't want none of this oh, in and run i want action <laughs> takers. i want to see i want to see your content and it's going to be there's going to be a price at the end of the challenge as well so stay tuned Excellent. Well, thank you, everybody. We really appreciate you being on the on the blab. And uh, yes, thank you so much for coming. And um, hopefully, we'll do this again. <laughs> issues. <laughs> we are we are going to do this. You know, every fortnight, are we, Angela? We're going to do this every fortnight, uh, definitely. So every time you say fortnight, I have to stop and think what that means. I'm in the U.S. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't, don't you use Fortnite in the US? It was like what? fifteen that two weeks. <laughs> two weeks. <laughs> Sounds good. Yeah. Cool. Cool. Thank you so much. Thank you, everybody. Bye.
Yeah, just too sophisticated for us, says Daphne. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Yes. What can I say? Coffee for helping us get our uh, technical issues solved. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. Next time is going to be even better. I think I'll bring my glass of wine. <laughs> we have to. We have. <laughs> we have to use some kind of a prop. I think. I'll bring my whiskey and coke then. <laughs> your time it's still daytime it might look a little weird for us but for I me know. <laughs> get your coffees exactly lovely uh, take That's care great. so what do we do now do we just come out or yeah we'll just say goodbye and everybody have a great day bye-bye <laughs>